Well, a recent online daily ranks Stillwater, Oklahoma as the sixth best small city in America. Located within hours drive of the state's two major metro areas, Stillwater has become an entrepreneurial hub in what has developed into a business triangle. The latest census numbers show Stillwater as one of the state's fastest growing hotspots with population growth close to 15 percent since the year 2000. Yet despite such success, Stillwater's downtown has struggled with decline, something city leaders are hoping to turn around. Joining me now from downtown Stillwater is our Russ Joel. Well, Rob, if two heads are better than one and four heads are better than two, then just imagine what could come about if the heads of nearly 200 business owners came together. Well, that's exactly what's happened here in downtown Stillwater. All the business owners have come together in a unique effort to make this central area the vibrant hub of the city. And your love, you It's late evening at Zanotti's Wine Bar in Stillwater. Music fills the room as an eclectic mix of college students and business professionals file in, filling their glasses with spirits while freeing their minds from the worries of the day. You might say this crowd represents a microcosm of the town around it, one rooted in collegiate heritage while slowly changing into a city of opportunity. If you've lived in Oklahoma for any length of time, chances are you know Stillwater as a college town. But it's grown up and fleshed out over the years, transformed to a mecca for young professionals, academics, and everyone in between. And where they all meet is right where you'd expect, in the heart of it all, downtown. Historically, the downtown area is the historic core part of a city. It's the, the heartbeat of a city. It's, it's, it's the, the lifeblood. And in a way, Stillwater's heart is getting a shot of new blood. In the past nine years, 10 new businesses have opened their doors in downtown Stillwater. Everything from casual restaurants to retailers of furniture and fashion. And in these tough economic times, Stillwater's community leaders want to be sure those businesses thrive and that the city's heart keeps a steady beat. The history of Stillwater's downtown says exactly that. It has always been the, the centerpiece of the city. And we're just doing our best to bring it back to where it was and make it the best place that you can be doing business in Stillwater. And one of those leaders is John Bartley himself a downtown business owner who sees the importance of having a vibrant downtown area and how that vitality can radiate throughout the larger city. While we are in the big picture of things, still a, a small city, we've got the leadership and we've got the forward thinking from our elected officials, our city officials, and our business leaders to want to do those things to make Stillwater even better. So John became involved in his local business improvement district, or BID a city-ordinated program of which he is now the chair that pools the financial resources of business owners within it for the purpose of bolstering the success of those very businesses. A bid district is an organization that has been put together through the city of Stillwater to have all the business owners in the downtown area, all the property owners in the downtown area, be able to work together towards making the downtown area uh, the most viable business uh, opportunity area in the city. It's a geographic region defined within a city where business owners have agreed to pay a nominal tax in exchange for business development services. Stillwater's district is divided into nine areas encompassing 12 city blocks and over 200 businesses. It was created under the city council. It's a department of the city. But the way it's set up is the people that are directly affected by it, the property owners, we, we call them members. And uh, that, that term's there for an important reason. They, they've got a vested interest in what's going on. And just as the business owners have a vested interest in the district, so too does the district have a vested interest in them. Elaine Zanotti is founder and owner of Zanotti's Wine Bar and says that starting such a unique business in Stillwater would not have been possible without the help of the city and the district. I have to honestly say the city of Stillwater was amazing. Once we uh, showed that we were serious about actually starting this business, everyone helped down from the, you know, from the banks to the city manager to building inspection. I mean, it was just a, an amazing process. Everyone seemed excited that there was going to be a business entity downtown that was going to be unique to Stillwater. And it's these types of unique businesses that the bid hopes to attract downtown. All right. 
Mike Decker is founder and owner of The Ridge, a boutique clothing store and salon just next door to Zanotti's, and says the business improvement district helped him and his wife to fulfill a lifelong dream of owning a true family business. My wife does hair at our salon, and so we had a baby, which is Micah, and uh, we decided that after a year of her staying home, she wanted to go back and do hair. We've already throw, always thrown around the idea of uh, doing a clothing store, and so we decided to put a hair salon upstairs for her and do the clothing store downstairs. Mike says that being part of the business improvement team has given him a chance to feed off the diverse ideas that come with a unique group of business owners. Well, the important thing is, is you can bounce your thoughts off of everyone. You know, you have a wide diversity of age groups, you have a wide diversity of businesses, so um, what happens is, is as one person throws an idea out, the other person can kind of draw for that idea and really relate to how it benefits their store plus the other person's store. Don't want to buy a business and turn around, I have no parking. And it's that interaction that makes the bid successful. Every six months, the district holds a public hearing to get the input of its members. Rex Horning is president of Stillwater National Bank and says a diverse collection of ideas is what makes the district strong. You get a real blend of what people uh, are thinking and what their needs are. And I think with the collaboration of that diverse of a group, uh, you usually come up with some pretty good ideas. And perhaps the most important collaboration is that between the business owners and the city government. Dan Galloway is city manager for Stillwater and says that revitalizing downtown will give Stillwater a fresh identity and harken back to the days when downtown was the place to be. I think it still has a place as a vital hub and I think it uh, uh, still watered like in many, many cities. It needed some kind of a, an incentive, some kind of an impetus to, to, to rekindle that uh, spirit of having a, a central heart and not, not lose that uh, heritage that they have. To my knowledge, Stillwater is the, uh, the smallest city to actually implement a bid district and so I, I, I like to think we're, we're out there on the cutting edge of trying to do the things necessary or available to, to make Stillwater even better. Showing that in cities both big and small, downtown is still the place to be. Now the Stillwater Improvement District isn't the only one in the state. Both Oklahoma City and Tulsa have numerous districts in places like Bricktown in Oklahoma City and in downtown Tulsa. But they all have one common purpose of helping to bolster the businesses within these areas. So Russ, let me ask, what is the difference between a business improvement district and the Main Street program? Well, Robert, Main Street Program and a Business Improvement District both have a common goal of helping to bolster business. The difference is that a Main Street Program has voluntary participation, and a Business Improvement District is an ordinance implemented by the cities that they're in and run by those municipal governments.